Sarah, but you're hurt and Ryan's the only one that can help. I just thought it best you to- You disobeyed my orders. We're on a mission. Kathy, that, that's not how this works. You're putting yourself and the mission at risk. I'm your commander now. Do, do you understand? Do you understand? Kathy? Yes, I copy. see any signs of life from here. The facility seems abandoned and pretty beaten up, like the quarry I told you about. I'm gonna go take a closer look. If you find anyone, you don't engage them on your own. Come straight back, understood? I will. There's gotta be something here. Is that light, Ula? Let's find a way down. That does not look trustworthy. I better find a way down to make it across the ice.
drop across, Ayla. Facility is surrounded by ice. Making my way across it now. Could be their water processing facility. Maybe. How's it going over there? We found something incredible. The missing Ark. It's called Ark Vita. Vita? That sounds familiar. That's not even the incredible bit. Apparently, Vita has a database of millions of Earth's flora and fauna species. Many of them extinct. And it can recreate them. It's a bioprinter. A bioprinter? It has all the ingredients to create life. Wow. All those animals we've lost to vegetation <sighs> for decades, we could bring it all back. But we can't find it. Its location isn't on any records. It, it just vanished. So if you find any information on its whereabouts, let us know. Copy that.
Whatever Odin's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure, I think that's where we're headed. Seems like they were growing food here too, by the looks of it. it. Says here these crops were all affected by unexpected mutations. I think this is hydroponic farming gear. So this is what they were growing here. This entire crate was meant to serve 50 people for an entire week. That's way too little. I get why people hoarded the stuff to barter with. So this is where they manufactured the antidepressants themselves. Mass distributed, right along with the food. I think this facility was their one-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. But most signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time of the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. These people were starving. And for what? MacArthur's pipe dream? Well, we don't know what caused the famine yet. Or if he was to blame, right? Kathy, be careful, alright? Will do. I'll keep sending sit reps. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Yeah, really. <laughs> this convention in Amsterdam, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah, it was, it was a beat to bows or something like that. Oh, such a silly name, so tasty. I bet. <laughs> you know it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. 
We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, you know, it's you know, science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us all the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing those meetings for him, but you should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth yet. <laughs> Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. You think, um... Think Kathy's okay? What? O of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um... I don't even know what she looks like. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know what she's what she's into. She was so she was so young hey, when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably. I really wanted her to be on out. I really did. I just she couldn't, and then I left her. You know, I just left her. That. I mean, I left. Her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad. I'm a bad father. You're not. No, a bad I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left. I left my daughter. I left my daughter. You're not. Why would you do that? It's okay. <laughs> just. <sighs> Who would leave their daughter?
William, you're hurting me. And you are hurting all of us. We might not recover from this. I thought many things of you, Rosa, but... I did not do this. Whether you planted the bomb is irrelevant. Your words lit the fuse. People will die because of Homeward. Are you serious? People are already dying because of Outward. Do you understand what this attack does to our production pipeline? We'll have to shut down several greenhouses. Food production will drop even more than it already has. I abhor what happened here. It hurts us all. But I don't blame them either. They've screamed and shouted, but you've not listened. I know you control Homeward more than you're willing to admit. Call them off, and we might have a chance to make it out of this as a whole. No. No? You imprisoned us and forced us to leave our families, our homes. If this is what's necessary to shake everyone awake, so be it. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed in medical. Sarah, that Homeward group set off a bomb here. They destroyed the heating coils used to melt the ice. They attacked their own water supply. Rosa's people? I don't think she was involved, but yeah. They used this water to grow food, drink, bathe, everything. Just reckless. People at the end of their road do desperate things to get what they want. I guess. Sarah.
Okay, Ayla. Let's go.
I just spoke to Remco. Okay. He says the yield is unsalvageable. How did we not catch this new mutation? How... How long until the ration plan is back on track? I think... We need to completely reevaluate our projections. With the heating coils out and no alloy from Herschel, we're already purifying water 35% slower than before and... I just... Rosa is fighting her own feelings of guilt and shame. That's why she started Homeward. She thinks it'll redeem all the tough choices she had to make on the moon. Mighty brave Rosa operates out of fear and ego, just like the rest of us. Do you remember the Antarctic catastrophe? I was there. I'm the only survivor left. Our second attempt at a self-sustained biosphere, and we destroyed it in less than three years. Because of pointless arguments, petty squabbling, intelligent sane people devolved into stupid, irrational cavemen. Tell me this, Isaac. Why does emotion always triumph over pragmatism? Why were our last years on Earth accompanied by endless wars over resources? Why can't humanity ever work in unison? Because we are, and always will be, too selfish to do what needs to be done. Soon, Earth will be just as uninhabitable as Mars. Because of us. Not the rabbits or the bees, nor the cancer cells that spread through my wife like wildfire. We did that. I will not let it happen here. We will persevere, and we will succeed. Outward was working. Outward is working. The chaos she breeds will end it all. You understand that, don't you? Yes. Then explain to me, Isaac, why you helped her with her psych ward and why you spend time socializing with her. It is time you choose, Isaac, which side you are actually on. It's not about science. Rosa and I are good friends, the... You don't get to sit on the fence about this. Outward or Earth, Isaac? I'm here for Outward, William. You know that. I don't give a damn about Earth. Not giving a damn about Earth? said that before. Kathy, everything okay? Hey, you okay? You sure? I feel a bit cold. Are you sure you're okay? Do you want a blanket or something? Hey, I'm like, you're okay. Are you okay? Sure. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just... Please, tell me what the hell you were thinking. You do not take a child to that sunken death trap in the bay. The WSA can teach her all that training. I'll just teach them myself. I know I don't trust them. Why don't trust you? Because my opinion counts for nothing anymore. I've lost cost custody, so I've lost the say in the matter. Because you simply appear back on Earth to take her, and that's that. I am her father. Oh, I know. State me damn sure I acknowledge that fact. Even though her father thinks it's perfectly okay for a little girl to go and live on the moon. Can we go back home? Please? Yes. We're leaving school. I'm sorry you don't understand, but this is what's going to happen. You are being a selfish and terrible father acting out of your own fear and pain. You have no idea what you're talking about. You just know full well you are choosing to be on the moon for some inconceivable reason instead of focusing your talent and effort here on Earth. I don't give a damn about the Earth! All I care about is her!
And what about me, Dad? Okay. Oh, oh, Cloud. I know I love you, Rose. signature. Wait, you put them without us? There's no one here. Just overgrown weeds and half-dead plants. So could we pick up them? We saw oxygen consumption occurring in the sun was setting, right? The vegetation actually uses up oxygen at night instead of producing it, so I guess that's what that was. Damn it. Right. Cat, head back here and try to
I'm a little busy, Sarah. What changed? Just answering. Sarah. I need to help me living quarters. <laughs> ASAP, I, um... Uh, I found some Alcornians. You sure? Did they see you? Thank <laughs> you. 